Hello, Chemistry 150 students. This is another problem solving session for Chemistry 150. And I'm choosing chapter four from uh, your online homework assignment, number 100. So when we read the problem, it says, find the percent by mass. So I'm looking for mass of sodium chloride in a 1.35 molarity sodium chloride solution the density of the solution is 1.05 grams per mil so when i read this this is kind of intimidating there's a lot in here there's a lot of conversion factors there's some things that may seem unfamiliar we'll definitely get into solutions in week uh, six coming up here i have a lot of videos on it and molarity is a measurement of solution concentration. But the first thing is, let's take a look at this and just, let's just define what a solution is. So typically a solution is when you dissolve something, okay? And the most common thing that you're dissolving stuff into is water. So in this example of a solution, I'm taking salt and I'm putting it in water to dissolve it. So this is a solution. The salt is what's referred to as a solute. A definition might be the solute is the thing being dissolved. Now that's not very useful. It's better to think of things in terms of quantitative. So the solute is the lesser amount. The solvent is the medium that's doing the dissolving. Again, that's qualitative, let's think quantitatively. It's the larger amount and it's what surrounds a solute to make, in this case, salt water, which will be a homogeneous mixture. So that's a solution. And you can think of a solution as a way to measure concentration, right? Or concentration as a way to measure a solution. So there's different ways to measure concentration, but you can think of concentration as the amount of solute over some amount of solution. That's essentially how you measure a concentration. You'll have a lot of solute, a lot of salt in a really concentrated salty solution. So there will be a lot of salt solute per total solution. And that's how you can measure concentration. Now, the thing is, when we deal with solutions, there's different ways to measure concentration. And that's why this problem is so difficult. So when you find the percent by mass of a sodium chloride solution, you're going to need to know percent sodium chloride, percent mass. Now, how can I do that? Well, I'm given a 1.35 molarity sodium chloride solution. I'm not totally familiar with that, so I'll kind of back off. But I'm also given the density of a solution, which is 1.05 grams per mil. Now, we're familiar with density. We know density is mass over volume. We've learned this. And when we look at the units, it's mass of a solution, which is in grams, over volume, which is in milliliters. So that 1.05 is basically saying there's 1.05 grams of solution per one mil of solution. So that's kind of a concentration. This is how heavy it is per amount of solution. Now, what about this 1.35 molar sodium chloride? What the heck does that mean? Well, we'll be learning next week that molarity, big M, is really a ratio. And that ratio is a conversion factor, and it's moles of solute per liter of solution. So it's a way of measuring concentration. It's an amount of solute per amount of solution. Now, it's not density, it's molarity, but it's still measuring a solution in its concentration. It just has different units. So, what is the 1.35 molar? sodium chloride solution really mean? It basically means there's 1.35 moles of sodium chloride, which is my solute, okay, because that's what I'm dissolving, per total liter of solution. 
Okay, so again, that's the amount of solute per amount of solution, and the units are moles per liter. Now, how am I going to take density, which is grams of solution per mils of solution, and moles of solute per liter of solution, and how am I going to get a percent mass of sodium chloride solution? Well, the first thing is we need to know what the heck is percent by mass? Well, percent by mass is part over whole. So the part, right, the part, when we think of percent, is the solute. The solute's what's being dissolved. And the whole is the solute plus the solvent. An easier way of thinking it about this is the mass percent of sodium chloride in the solution is the grams of sodium chloride, which is my part, my solute, over the total grams of the solution, which is solute plus solvent, total grams of solution times 100. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how many grams of sodium chloride per grams of solution. So can I get grams of sodium chloride? Well, this molarity gives me moles of sodium chloride. And I know from molar mass that I can convert moles of sodium chloride to grams. So yeah, I could get grams of sodium chloride. And density actually gives me grams of solution. So I should be able to get grams of solution. But how do I, how do I go about this? Well, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's say I have one liter of this solution. I know its density is 1.05 grams of solution per mil, and I know its molarity, which is 1.35 moles of sodium chloride per liter. So I'm just going to make it easy and say I have one liter. So in one liter of solution, right, I can use my molarity right here and convert the liters into moles of sodium chloride. Now, why is that useful? Well, once I know moles of sodium chloride, I can do what I've been doing in chapter three all along. I can grab my periodic table and say, oh, well, the molar mass of sodium chloride, one mole of sodium chloride is 58.45 grams. And now the unit of moles of sodium chloride cancels, and I can take that 1.35, multiply it by the 58.45, and I get there's 78.91 grams of sodium chloride solute per liter. So that gives me what I need in the numerator, the part. But now I need to figure out how many grams of solution, not just grams of solute. Well, remember, I'm assuming I had one liter. So start again with one liter. One liter of solution. Well, I know that the density is in terms of milliliters of solution. So maybe I need to convert that. Okay, well, that's easy. The metric system. One liter of solution gives me a thousand mils of solution. And the density, right? The density is mils of solution, grams of solution. So I can cancel out the unit of mils of solution and convert it to the grams of solution. And now I get the denominator for the mass percent, 1,050 grams of solution. So I take the mass of the solute, the part, and I take the mass of the solution, the whole, and the units are in grams for both of them. And I can easily figure out my percent mass of sodium chloride, the part, the solute, by just taking that ratio and multiplying by 100. So I take the 78.91 divided by the 1050 times 100. And I use three sig figs because that's what I started with. And I get a 7.52% by mass sodium chloride solution. What that essentially means, and I could, re, I could use this as a conversion factor now. I'm basically saying there's 7.52 grams 
of solute sodium chloride per 100 grams of solution. And I can actually use that as a conversion factor. But I had to go about it this way to solve it. So I hope that helps. These are the types of problems in Chem 150 we start moving towards where we take multiple concepts and put them together to solve one type of problem. And again, I know some of you have already started chapter four homework. So this is gonna be very challenging when you come across it. It'll make more sense as we move forward. Remember, chapter four homework is not due till October 7th. So we have a week and a half to move through this to understand these concepts. But I might as well give you a hard problem, show you how to do it and help you along the way. So again, thanks for watching. I hope this helps and I appreciate all your hard work.